Grass Falls City Hall. Governor Hochul responding to today's ruling by saying, quote, they just set a women back in this country, back to the dark ages. But she is also assuring New Yorkers that they don't need to worry about their rights here. News 10 ABC Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine continues our team coverage. In a 6-3 to three vote, the Supreme Court ruling in the Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization case to uphold a Mississippi law banning abortions after 15 weeks. In another vote of five to four, Roe versus Wade was overturned. Justice Samuel Alito writing, quote, it's time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives. Across the country, states may soon be enacting abortion bans, but here in New York, abortion law is codified, which means it will remain legal. Governor Kathy Hochul responding to the decision, saying it's a dark day for women across the nation. We're gonna stand up to fight back, just as we did when the news of this case leaked months ago, that this could actually happen in our nation. We now require insurance companies to cover abortion services. I added $35 million to our state budget to make sure that we had the resources necessary to expand services because New York, with the Statue of Liberty standing in our harbor, will always be a safe harbor, a place for women in search of freedom Freedom to control their own body will be able to come to our state, the state of New York. Assembly Minority Leader Will Barkley says while this does not change abortion in New York State, he's pleased with the Supreme Court's decision. It's now going to be up to the legislature and the people who elect those people in the legislature to decide whether abortion should be legal or not. And it's not up to you know nine people on a court to make that decision. So I, I think that's a very positive sign for our jurisprudence uh, in the country. Republican Congresswoman Elise Stefanik also in favor of this ruling, saying, quote, Today's historic Supreme Court decision is a victory for the sanctity of life. It will save countless innocent children. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, on the other hand, making a visit to Planned Parenthood in Albany, calling this decision unconscionable, saying there is a way to fight back. We can 